A year ago, Mitch McGarry was considered one of the most promising college players by NBA GMs. Today, he is one of the most perplexing. The Wolverines big man announcing he's entering the NBA draft after he failed a drug test for marijuana during the NCAA tournament. Sam Webb is the publisher for MichiganScout.com. Go Blue Wolverines. Sam, the penalty for being caught by the NCAA is a one-year suspension. Had this not happened, do you think McGarry would have returned to Ann Arbor for his junior year? Yes, Shay, all signs point to Mitch uh, coming back had he not get gotten deemed like he did. Uh, unfortunate circumstance because Michigan probably uh, contends for another Big Ten crown and maybe even the Final Four uh, if he's back. And I think he saw that on the horizon. But as it stands, uh, no choice for him at, at this point. He's going to go ahead and go to the NBA. Well, Sam, you can see why NBA teams will want to do their homework on McGarry. This past season, he played only eight games due to back problems. In the 2013 tournament, he averaged 14 points, 10 rebounds, playing an influential role in the Wolverines' run of the championship game. Where do you think he'll end up being drafted, and what kind of pro do you think he'll be? You know, I think he, at this point, most – most uh, draft mock drafts have him somewhere in the second round, but with good pre-draft workouts, I think Mitch McGarry can sneak into the first round. He's 6'10", 250 pounds, and he's skilled. He can hit an 18-footer. He can put it on his on the floor to his left. He can play with his back to the basket. He is a skilled four-man that rebounds in bunches, and you just can't teach that size and what type of rebounder he is. So with the again good workout, he's a guy that a lot of people compare to a Kevin Love type. He maybe doesn't have Kevin Love's range right now. But again, his size, his skill level, his ability to put it on the floor and pass, that's who the guy he'll put you in the mind of if he's healthy. Not a bad comparison, Kevin Love. All right, Sam, before we let you go, no Nick Stauskas, no Glenn Robinson, and now no Mitch McGarry. Where does this leave the Wolverines for this upcoming season? I think it leaves them con competing in the Big Ten, but not necessarily contending for a Big Ten crown. Uh, with Mitch McGarry, they're probably one of the favorites for the Big Ten. And, you know, they'll make a, they would be in contention to make another run for the Final Four. Without them, you still have Karis LeVert, who's going to be one of the, you know, preseason guys for first team all Big Ten. And you'll see Derek Walton and Zach Irvin, I think, take their games to the next level along with a nice incoming freshman class. So Michigan will be in the top half of the Big Ten, but probably won't be a team that you're talking about winning the Big Ten crown next year. No doubt John Beeline can help develop those players. All right, Sam Webb from Go Blue Wolverine, thanks so much for the time. And a historic day in college sports at another Big Ten campus. Northwestern football players voting on whether to unionize. For the latest from Evanston, check out the videos on campusinsiders.com.